The Sipiwe Shabalala Foundation football tournament finals are currently underway in Soweto. The football development tournament started on the 24th of June and it concludes today. That's at the Hoto Sports Ground in Piri, Soweto. Now in its eighth year, the tournament has produced a lot of professional players, some of whom are actually turning out for national first division teams. For more on this, we're joined by ENCA's Tepo Tobane. Titi, good afternoon to you. So festivities galore that at least we've seen for the last three weeks or so um, in the uh, Shaba tournament. What are we expecting today? Have the festivities and at least the football action gotten underway? Hello, Morena. Yes, as you can see, we are here in Piri, Hot Oak Grounds. Uh, action is happening here. The CPU Shabalala Foundation tournament the finals are currently underway. With me, I've got uh, the legend himself, former Kaiser Chiefs, and also former uh, midfielder. Shaba, thank you so much for your time. I mean, this is the eighth edition of the tournament. Tell us why did you decide to start such a project? Yeah, good day and uh, good day to um, all the viewers. Uh, we're quite excited, um, you know, with the success that we've had thus far, uh, you know, with the eighth edition of the tournament. Uh, we, we have seen um, a lot of growth. Uh, we've also seen, uh, you know, improved uh, quality in terms of uh, football as well. Uh, you know, the turnout has been also amazing and we, we, we wish to, you know, um, produce uh, uh, as many uh, 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 shabalalas as, as we can, the shabas as we can through this platform. But also, you know, to, to help uh, young coaches, young administrators and, and team managers as well uh, through this platform. I mean, this is about also about uh, giving back to the community where you grew up. Of course, you are from here, grew up here in Piri. I also grew up here in Piri. In fact, a lot of people don't know that we played, uh, we went to the same school. We went to the like same school, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also giving back and, and, and also when we have such projects, I'm looking at the years, it's been eight years. But now, in terms of sponsorship, uh, when you started, how difficult was it for you? Yeah, um, you know, it's, 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 it's another challenge of, of, of uh, you know, of trying to get sponsors. Uh, it's very difficult, but um, we, we keep on trying, we keep on knocking. And as you see now that uh, the tournament, um, you know, uh, the success that you see now uh, is through the help of our sponsors, uh, you know, our Future Life, uh, uh, Betway, uh, Trollop Mining, uh, Aspen, Studio 88. And with, with the involvement and the resources that they bring, the tournament, you know, they, they, they make it grow. They help us also to have um, uh, a strong footprint, uh, not only go go Piri Soweto, but national as well, you know, and we'll, we'll be able to achieve objectives as well of taking coaches, uh, uh, young administrators, uh, to, you know, uh, broaden their knowledge academically through uh, coaching courses and other courses that will help them uh, grow um, as, as uh, coaches and administrators. Also, July, I mean, now obviously now let's talk about football in general, something that you know of, uh, the World Cup, FIFA World Cup, we are in July now, 2010, uh, I think the final just wrapped up uh, two days ago in 2010, but let's look at since 2010, uh, Bafamba Fanas, uh, how did we perform in terms of, you look at the 2010 World Cup, you look at, we missed the 2014 World Cup, we missed the 2018 World Cup in Russia, we missed the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, now, what has gone wrong since 2010? Sure. Um, I think a lot has, has gone wrong. Uh, I think we, we are a country that uh, must always compete at the highest level. Uh, we shouldn't uh, you know, miss the World Cup. Um, however, there's always an opportunity to, to, to redeem ourselves. And I'm happy that we, we, we managed to uh, you know, qualify for, for the AFCON, uh, which will give us an opportunity to perform and also prepare us for, for the World Cup. I mean, there are qualifiers around the corner. Um, it's another opportunity for us to compete and make sure that we qualify. I'm sure you've seen the draw um, uh, in, in, in the group that comprises Nigeria, Rwanda, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, Benin. How do you see our chances? Of course, the first team who finishes at the top obviously qualifies automatically. And then, uh, do you think we, we are capable of qualifying automatically? Yeah, we are capable of, of, of uh, qualifying uh, automatically. Um, however, we should uh, not take this draw lightly. Uh, it looks simple on paper. Um, I know the focus will be you know, on Nigeria. So we need to give um, all the teams, uh, the countries, uh, the respect that they deserve. At the end of the day, uh, each uh, country that's in the group will also play uh, equally the same amount as other teams.
quickly, quick one, transfer activity. You've seen your former team has achieved the players that they got in. Are they good enough to make sure that the team returns to the glory days? Yeah, I think every, every, everyone you know, deserves a chance. Uh, and I just want to wish um, you know, um, all the players that joined the team all the best, uh, including the coach. And you know, um, the team have made a call uh, with the changing personnel and, and with the you know, new signings. So ours is to beg the team and support them and wish them well. Thank you so much, Shaba. I know you also we are going to see you in the field of action. Go be here yourself. Well, uh, Murena, that was uh, Shaba to, telling us about his uh, developmental tournament that is currently taking place here. It's about giving back to the community. It's about uh, up making sure that we have uh, coaches, up and coming coaches, and players as well. All right, Tepo, thank you very much. And we can only but hope that one of these days we'll be talking to one of those players who are involved in that tournament as a professional, either as a Chiefs, Pirates, Sundown, Swallows, whatever kind of player, but that uh, the talent does definitely get nurtured at that tournament. That is where we leave it, of course, with Tepo Tobani. He is out in Piri Soweto at the Sepiwe Shabalala Foundation football tournament that is ongoing. The finals are happening as we speak. That